Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a branching Google form. So the next question will appear based on the answer to the previous question. So that's quite cool. This way we can skip part of the form based on our user input. You don't need any extra plugin and outside stuff. It's all inside Google Form already. We just need to know how to use this feature. So take a look. Here I am inside Google Form. This is new blank form. So let's say the first question is for everybody. So everybody need to answer this one. Let's create the next one. Here we got some short answer and also our requ request everybody to first answer two questions like this and now the next question will be the one that will kind of decide which way the user will go so let's ask are you a cat or a dog person Two answers, cat and dog. All right. And all of this is in this first section. So this is section one, part one, let's say. We've got three questions here that everybody will see. After that, I'm going to create a new section. So I click this little button over here, add section. And I got section here, new section. This will be for cat people cat and I add like three different questions inside just keep it blank all right so I got this second section for cat with three questions inside and below this I will add one more section so again I click add section button here and this is for dog people and here I can add just three questions about someone's dog all right so we got the section one, part one, everybody will see this. And I want my user to, after they answer this question, are you a cat or dog person? If they answer cat, I will take them to this section, section two, and skip the section three. And in other option, I will take you to section three directly, skipping the cat section. All right, so how can we do that? Actually, it's quite easy. We just need to click this three dots here the snowman icon over here inside this question and here's the option go to section based on answer all right i click on that and now i can pick for answer a cat go to section cat for answer b dog go to section three about dog all right so let's give it a go let's test it to see if there are any troubles with this kind of solution so i'm going to click preview all right i must pick something here and here and here is our branching decision so i need to pick one cat or dog i pick cat click next and i go to the cat section i got three questions here but take a look, if I click next here, it will also show me a dog section because it's below it. All right, so that's something that we need to fix. And then I click submit. All right, if I do it for dog section, it's not a problem because the dog section is the last one in the form. So if I pick dog, next, and then I can just submit the form because it's the last section of the form. But cat is the second section, just before the dog section. So we cannot really make a true branching here, even though the dog options keep the cat section. But if you go to the cat section, you will also see the dog section after that. So let's fix that. How can we do that? Let's go here. As you can see, this is section two. It's why you will also see the next one after, because we got this marked. After section two, continue to next section. We need to change that. Submit form. And now after someone finished this part, they will submit form. 
This is the last section, so that's obvious. After they finish this section, they will submit for. Alright, that's the way of doing that. As you can guess now, I can simply guide user to other section from here too. So we can have many like branching options in one Google Form. That's quite cool. And the key feature is you set up branching inside the question. So you ask one question here, go three dots and turn on this option. Go to section based on answer. Thanks to that, you can pick to which section the user will go after they pick each answer. And at the end of each, each section, you can also decide what will happen next. So at the end of this section, you can continue to next section. At the end of this section, you submit the form. You will not go to the doc section. All right. And of course, I could also link this to other, like cut part two or something like that. Other section that is somewhere around this. All right. This way we can make a branching choices when we can put I will use this together on the same path, the branching again, and there are multiple possibilities for questionnaires, for tests, for educators. Very, very useful feature, and I hope this video was helpful. If you like content like this, maybe consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I usually upload two tutorials a week. So, see you in the next one.